Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and this is the first part in learning Game Maker Language, which is kind of a false name for this video because it is actually not going to be teaching you any programming. Instead, what we need to talk about first is that computers are stupid. Okay, that may seem like a very odd statement if you've ever used computers because you know that they can do some fantastic and marvelous things. They can connect you to people across the world, they can do incredible calculations, render this and that, play high fidelity games. They can look like they do amazing things, and they do, but at the core of it, computers are actually really, really stupid. They will only do what they are told to do, and nothing more and nothing less. When you begin programming, like we're going to be doing with learning Game Maker language, uh, you will learn that the code that you write is exactly what is going to be executed. Apart from the bug here or there, which there are some, but probably not as many as you would think when, when you are programming, uh, apart from those specific bugs or things that are not supposed to happen, uh, the game is going to do exactly what you write. The code that you put on there is going to take effect even if it's not actually what should be happening. So when you are creating a game and you tell the player to move to the right when this happens or to check to see if an enemy has enough health to do a certain action, the code that you write is going to execute even if it isn't actually going to take the form that you want it to. Perhaps the player's actually going to fly into the sky when they press right on the keyboard, or the enemy is going to explode when they're at full health for some reason. That reason is you, the programmer. The more you write code, the more that you will learn, the computers are not going to interpret what you desire to have happen. They are going to do exactly what you tell them to do. And as the programmer, that is something that we have to take uh, responsibility for. When code doesn't work properly, it is, 99% of the time, our fault. Because something we wrote is wrong. Something we wrote is not occurring, not functioning the way we wanted it to, but it is functioning the way it is written to. And that is where uh, like code errors and compile time problems come into play. When you get those errors and problems and bugs, not the bugs like uh, there's an underlying problem that is not the programmer's fault. When you get a bug in your code that it's doing something strange, that is the programmer's fault. And it can be very discouraging when you are coding a game, programming an application, whatever the case may be. It can become very discouraging when your code doesn't work the way you want it to. When you are trying so hard and putting time and energy and tears and blood into this game and things aren't working right, it gets discouraging, it gets depressing, and we get inclined to give up. But I want to highly encourage you to not give up. To realize that the computer is only going to do what you tell it. So when you study more, when the more you code, the more that you learn, the better you are going to get. And the farther along, you will be able to get into your game to make it do exactly what you want it to do. So don't give up when you are coding, even when you get bugs and errors and things aren't working right. Continue along because the more you persevere, the better coder, the smarter person you will become, and the greater games and applications you will be able to develop in time. So... With those two things out of the way, now we are going to dive into Game Maker language, and we're going to do it one step at a time. If you have zero programming experience, then this is exactly where you want to be. If you do know how to program, then this can be a very good refresher, or you can jump along much later into the series when I start digging into the more advanced sections of Game Maker language for Game Maker Studio 2 and 1, but... Game Maker Studio 2 is what I'll be using to showcase this. So if you're using GMS 1, it's going to look different, but for the most part, the code is going to translate over almost perfectly. They have added a few new functions and taken some out in Game Maker Studio 2, but overall, you'll be able to follow along exactly the same if you're using Game Maker Studio 1. 
But if you are, I'd encourage you to upgrade. It's free. And if you are really serious about game making, then definitely purchase Game Maker Studio 2. Support YoYo Games. Encourage them to continue putting out new updates, things like that, yada, yada, yada. All right, so let's end here, and then let's dive in to Game Maker Studio, Game Maker Language. Thank you for joining me. Have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later. (laughs) 